welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today I'm sharing with you some bits that I have found in Poundland which I think would make great stocking fillers so today is actually the first video of budget gift guide week so I'm starting this week today with it being Monday doing this Poundland stocking filler ideas type haul thing and I'm actually going to be giving away all of the contents of this video to one of you guys so stay tuned for instructions on how to enter that and then on Wednesday I'm going to be bringing to you a secret Santa gift guide which could obviously be kind of considered a stocking filler gift guide as well and then on Friday I'm going to be bringing you a gift guide hamper style so I'm going to be DIYing several themed hampers which I hope you guys are gonna love. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. Without further ado, I feel like we should get started on this huge stocking. It's not like a generic, typical stocking because A, I couldn't find any, and B, if I did, they probably wouldn't be big enough. So you can be in with the chance of winning all of this content. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and also be following me over on my Instagram accounts. I have two, Freya Farrington one for fashion and Freya Farrington home for homeware. Once you have done all that, be sure to comment below with your Instagram handle just so I can verify Make sure that you're following and I can also then reach out to you if you are the chosen winner. And keep an eye out on your Instagram inbox and I will contact you if you're the chosen winner in a week's time. So first up, first and foremost is this jute sack which is from Poundland itself at only a pound. I think these are so affordable and great to just like kind of add to your decor in front of your tree and fill it with fake presents or real presents, whatever you want to do. Last year, I think, and we'll probably do it again this year, we bought a couple of these for Tom's nieces and just filled them with a load of goodies for their Christmas presents. So I'm going to just dive straight in and pick out the first item, which is a reed diffuser. So this is a scented reed diffuser in 50 mils and it is very seasonally appropriate because it is in spiced gingerbread love the sound of this was tempted to get my very own one so i might even have to go back and do that because this obviously is going to be going to one of you guys so that is the first item okay this is quite a unique concept that i don't know if it's just a tradition in our household or if other people do it too but when i was younger and we used to get like lots of presents from friends and family members uh, we used to always get in our stocking a pack of thank you cards so that we could write them out on Christmas Day thanking all of our friends and families who had gifted us items. Um, I just think it's a nice like touch to, to make sure you show your appreciation. This is a pack of 10 for a pound and there are two designs in there. Okay, next item is another home fragrance. This is a wax melt in the scent Bakewell Tart Delight, which I just thought sounded very sweet but also kind of like nice for this time of year when you just want your house to smell of all the sweets and goodness so Bakewell Tart if you have a wax melt if you don't you can get them from Poundland at a pound in fact I probably should have included that another thing I wanted to include but totally forgot they do like colouring books as in for adults like with different themes and everything. I was going to pick one out, but I forgot, completely forgot to. Uh, but at only a pound, they're a great stocking filler idea as well. Okay, moving on. We have these bath salts in Ginger Lily Blossom. They are called bath crystals on there. And what I love about this is it comes with a cute little scoop, which I just think is so adorable. Perfect little weighty stocking filler gift as well. Next up, we have another beauty item. We have a holographic sheet face mask enriched with coconut oil and aloe vera. It leaves your skin soft, smooth, brighter, more radiant. Cute. Love that like iridescent packaging as well. And then they also have in Poundland eau de toilettes. So this is probably better suited, I think, to just have like a throw in your handbag perfume. They have smaller ones as well in different scents. They have so many actually to choose from but the one that i liked the smell of most was the fern mccann blush oud eau de toilette i've had the body spray of this before it is really nice so i picked that one up for one of you lucky winners okay this is a kind of a little bit boring one but i just kind of threw it in there anyway 
stocking fillers are like cheap and cheerful aren't they this is a mobile wizard one meter lightning cable little charger lead and i got it because it was pink so i thought it was a really nice blush shade that i just thought i'd include you have to include some treats within a stocking so of course i picked some up i went for a tube of munchies i feel like these tubes are so christmasy we always seem to get a couple in our stocking. I've also included this nail varnish, which is originally Lottie London. It's well worth checking out their makeup section for discounted high street drugstore brands, which ordinarily have an RRP of much more than a pound. So Lottie London is quite a good brand and I thought that was a really nice neutral shade. We're going to include a festive DVD in here and of course the one that I chose to include was Love Actually. It's one of the most festive films. I feel like I watch every year when it gets around to Christmas time and they have so many different Christmassy films. Pamela seemed to put out the Christmas CDs and DVDs at this time of year at, like, at the front so you don't have to rummage for the odd Christmas film. They have loads. Okay, next up we have... Oh yeah, I forgot I got these. In evergreen scent, I got these scented hanging decorations, which ordinarily you think for the car, it even says perfect for the car, but it also blends in with the tree. So it's one that if you have an artificial tree and you want it to smell like a real tree, this one is evergreen scented and you can hang them like around the back or at the front. They just are a great idea to kind of give your room the smell of a real tree, even if you don't have one. I also included some cozy socks. I feel like Primark is the best for their cozy socks because they're one pound 80 for a pack of two, but they do have some more expensive ones in Primark. I did notice that. So this one is from Pep & Co, which is a brand within Poundland. We have a little clothing range in our local one. So two pound for a pack of two cozy socks. We also have another beauty item here. This is a shimmer drops, they call it. And I thought this was so similar to my iconic London Illuminating Drops, which I use every single day without fail. They had a couple of different shades, but this gold colored one was the one closest to the one that I use. So I thought that was a great dupe and whoever wins this, I'd love it if you could let me know how you get on with these because I might, when I've run out of my iconic London Drops, I might just test it out and see how it is. Okay, so next up I included these two. I'm going to show you them together because they're kind of in line with each other. So these are lavender products. This bottom one here is a pillow spray. This is for a good night's sleep. I love using a lavender pillow spray. I actually have the lavender Febreze as well, which I put all over the bed every single day without fail. I love going to bed and it's smelling of lavender. It's very relaxing. And then we also have on top here a lavender relaxing roll on, again for a good night's sleep. But these are great as well if you are doing a long distance journey to just pop in your um, hand luggage and just pop it on if you especially have like an overnight flight and it just helps relax you. The lavender scents are just amazing for if you're trying to get to sleep and if you struggle getting to sleep. Really, really recommend you try these out. And I thought the packaging of these were very white company. We all know how much I love white company. Oh, and then one more kind of in the same range is this lavender spa invigorating bath oil with real lavender petals in there, which I thought was quite unique. Very pretty, very minimal in design. They did have some other varieties of this. It wasn't just the lavender one, but I picked that up to go with the other two lavender products. Okay, for the Hinch lover out there, I mean, you could even include some Hinch products as well. Hint, hint for the upcoming hamper video that I'm doing on Friday. Uh, but for now, I included this to-do list, which actually has a magnet on it if you wanted to pop it on your fridge. And this very Hinch-inspired crystal pen. Uh, the rose gold is kind of goes well with the, the to-do list, the like pinky coral tone on the to-do list. So a very simple to-do list. I write to-do lists every single day. Um, but then I also included within here as well a weekly planner. Again, in that same rose gold. It's kind of got an iridescent finish to it. So this is a pretty notebook in itself. But again, if you are a list person, this is undated, which is great because you can do it relative to your week. Um, and it's also divided into work, home, and play section. And then there's a notes section at the back as well. Very simple, one pound. Can't go wrong, so I've included that as well. And last but not least, I feel like this is the most important because it's kind of a nice little surprise element and a bit of fun for Christmas Day. It's a scratch card. I 
blooming love including scratch cards so it's always just a nice additional touch and who knows they could end up being 200 gram richer you just hope that they'd be a good friend enough to share it with you but who knows one of you guys winning this whole stocking could be a really big winner. So that is everything I picked up to include within this Poundland stocking. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to enter by subscribing, following me on both my Instagram accounts, and then commenting down below with your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you if you're the chosen winner in a week's time. Best of luck to everyone. Stay tuned for the rest of this week for some more budget gift ideas, gift guides, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.